Teachers and parents of Harrisonburg City Public Schools just filed a motion to temporarily block a controversial policy that forces teachers to use any name or pronoun that a student requests and then forbids teachers from sharing this information with those kids' parents. Deborah Figliola, a teacher involved in the lawsuit, and attorney Kristen Wagoner join me now to react. Deb, as if teachers did not have enough distracting them from, you know, actually doing their job and teaching, you now have to worry about what pronouns you use. Why did you fight back? Well, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um... I fought back because I basically don't want to lie to kids. I don't want to lie to parents. I want to make sure that the people who are most important in their lives are involved in their lives so that they get the best help. I mean, this is unbelievable. Kristen, the part of this that gets me going is the push to keep parents in the dark. And this is actually on one of the slides that gave teachers advice on how to approach all this. Quote, a student's gender transition should be considered confidential. It is highly detrimental to out a student to another school staff peers or a student's family. All communication should be in collaboration with the student. Kristen, why do schools keep thinking it's right to usurp parents' authority here? Well, they seem to think they know better than parents, and that's not only wrong as a matter of common sense, but it's wrong as a matter of constitutional law. Parents don't lose their constitutional rights when they enroll their children in public schools, and they do have the right to be able to direct the upbringing of their children and decide what's in their children's best interest. That's not the role of the government. Here's a statement from the district, quote, we are dismayed that this complaint is coming to us in the form of a lawsuit in lieu of the collaborative approach that we believe best serves the interests of our students, staff and family. So, Kristen, they're saying you didn't go to them first to try to work this out. Your response. Well, certainly many parents and teachers have voiced their concern, but let's ask them why they adopted this policy behind closed doors, why they didn't send this policy out to parents in advance, when they send all kinds of other information out to parents from even the most simple um, changes that they have in the school system. We need to understand this was an intentional effort to deceive parents, and they're forcing teachers to do that, and it's creating great psychological harm to students and also forcing them down a path of irre irreversible and life-altering treatment that is going to create additional harm in families and to students. Deb, you are obviously mm -hmm. speaking out, but for those teachers too scared to speak out, do most of them agree that the district policy is wrong and like they're telling you that in private but don't want to make it public? I've had many people come to me and from different walks from school and uh, and they have been very supportive. Uh, people really are dismayed, I think, at what's going on. What's amazing is that, as Kristen was saying, um, everything that we do in my district, we share with parents. There are innumerable languages, probably 40 or so languages spoken in the Harrisonburg area. Whenever anything comes out, whether it's a policy change or an activity or uh, sports, it's sent home to parents in five different languages, by the way. And this was not sent home to parents. Parents were not a part of this. Uh, it was also presented once at a, a, a close, I believe it's called closed school board meeting, where it's, um, you can go, but there's not many people there. But um, that's the only time it was really made public. It's been disconcerting to me. So you got teachers coming to you talking about this. You've got parents coming to you talking to you about this. Deb, in practice, how many kids have asked you, hey, I need you to use this pronoun, percentage-wise of your classroom? Well... Uh, it's a small percentage, very small percentage, but I have had the experience with kids. I have had conversations with kids. The thing is, we want to be, be careful. We want to um, be, not harm students. We want to give them the advantage of everything, including everything that their parents know about them, everything that their parents can give them in support, in help, in love, in respect, and we want to make sure that they are taken care of. And without the parents, we're leaving out a huge part of everything about the, that those kids need. The parents are with them from the beginning and they're going to be with them after we're gone. Yeah, what I keep coming back to as a new parent myself, all the stuff that you do for your kids mm -hmm. and a lot of it's not clean, a lot of it's not fun. 
You are those mm -hmm. kids' lives. And the fact that the schools want to take you out of it is so offensive yes. and horrific. It needs to be stopped. Kristen and Deb, thanks so much for your time. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep us posted. Appreciate it. Thanks, Todd. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you.